Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I'm your host, Info Guides is my name, or it's what I go up by, and I'm here to show you what little I know. And before we dig into this video, I want to make sure I want to make sure everybody knows and understands I'm aware that my sound, my audio, needs some work. Uh, why it needs work is because of this. This. I'm in a whole new man cave room, a, a new space, a new everything, and I don't have anything on the walls right now to deaden the sound. I've done everything I can with the microphones to kind of control that. Long story short is I know it needs work, so please bear with me. Now let's get into it. So today we're going to be talking about Atlas Earth and where I'm at. I just entered the $11 club. Whoa, yeah. $11 club is where I'm at. So I just entered that and sorry for all these extra bells and whistles going off. I just wanted to kind of cover where I'm at, what I've been doing, what I haven't been doing. And so for the most part, uh, as everybody knows, I joined the uh, Explorers Club. And I've been doing that for about a month. Now, I have not, in the meantime, been going through and uh, buying anything. I haven't been playing any Atlas Arcade. I haven't been doing any surveys. I haven't been doing any of that stuff. All I've been doing is making sure I log in as often as I can, collect my uh every 20 minutes collect my two atlas bucks so uh definitely gotta make sure i'm doing that and you know all that fun stuff and oh that was kind of interesting how it switched that so okay so let's kill this video off here sorry for the ad i know you guys get to watch all of your own as well so yay but just like i thought that ad just caused oh good it refreshed so I'm in the $11 club. I've been doing that. I've been making sure I stay boosted. And I've been staying boosted about, we'll go ahead and say I've been staying boosted probably 18 to 20 hours a day. I've been hitting the boost pretty hard. Uh, that, of course, is the dollar amount. Uh, and if you guys are interested, for those of you out there that are new to Atlas Earth, if you're interested in playing, you get a benefit if you use my referral code. And so let me get you a referral code right now, just so you guys have one available if you're watching this and want to check out Atlas Earth. In the long run, you will get... I hate how it hides things like that. Let's jump over here. And... Okay, there's the referral code right there. It is 4-I-E-T-L-I. -E that is the referral code. And if you want to play Atlas Earth and you use that referral code, you will get, uh, once you purchase your 11th plot, you will get uh, 200 Atlas bucks for free, which is two additional free plots. What I get in return is as you're buying your first 11 plots, I get, or your first 10 plots, I get 10 Atlas bucks per plot you purchase for a total of 100 Atlas bucks. And so that will help me out as well. So you get two free Atlas bucks, two free Atlas Earth plots, and I get one free Atlas Earth plot. That's a tongue twister I wasn't ready to say. So with the Atlas Earth here, um, I, I did want to cover in this video, besides joining the uh, $11 club, that's kind of just the update. Let's see how many plots am I up to here. We got 38 and 12. So right there, we're at 50. So we're at 83 plots. So I'm at 83 plots of land. Uh, I, my luck as far as legendaries, I think is a bit low. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm not too disappointed with where I'm at. I have not purchased any new badges or anything like that. I'm just pretty much buying land plots now up to 150 land plots before I purchase any more badges. 
Um, I'm not trying to follow my numbers 100% and accurate, but as you can see here, we have 215 Atlas Earth bucks. So what that means is we need to go buy now, and we're going to fill in this gap right here, if it will let me. There we go. So we got that land plot filled in. And, oh yeah, perfect. On film and everything, we landed ourselves a common. Okay, it's the name of the game. I'm not too worried about it. I need the plots no matter what they are. So we're going by the second one here. Uh, wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Here we go. No whammies. Boom! At least I got an epic. Uh, it's been a while since I've picked up an epic. So there you go. Live and on stream, we've got an epic plot of land to add to the collection. So I am now at 85 plots of land. And that's where I am at with Atlas Earth. If you have any questions, uh, want more information on what I've been doing, not been doing, I pretty much just covered, you know, my strategy in the last video and what I'm up to right now. Again, I'm in the $11 club. And so now I want to jump over and cover a comment that we got from uh, one of our viewers. Let me see if I can get this up on the screen so you guys can see it. Of course, it would go full screen like I didn't want it to do. And now let's go ahead and we go to temporarily hide the game. Uh, let's see. Got to find that screen. Uh, I don't have all these things set up. Okay, here we go. So this was the comment right here. Uh, the Atlas Earth support team allows spoopers to cheat. The support team will also threaten to ban you for calling them out on their favoritism for spoopers uh, like... Well, I'll let you read the name. I don't call them out. Uh, he thinks this is the death of Atlas Earth, and uh, there's a legitimate method to earn free Atlas Earth bucks from the Atlas Arcade without doing anything whatsoever. So I'm thinking he's referring to an exploit and all this kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that. What I want to cover live and in person, I want to cover what I wrote to him as a response. And, oh, I should make a mention. This comment comes from the great Shaman, and I don't have any problems with his comments. Everybody is open to leaving any comments. I don't mind uh, negative comments as long as they are written respectively. Uh, let's see. So in my response, I kind of go over to the great, uh, the great Shaman and I explain a different game I was playing and uh, an aspect that kind of relates to what he's talking about here with spoofers and what do you want to call it? Spoofers and cheaters or whatever you want to call them. Okay, so. Uh, da, da, da. What I want to go over is I played the game for a long time and it was called Splinterland. Now, I still watch this game to see if I want to jump back in and play this game, but I don't. Currently, play Splinterlands. I sold out all my assets. Uh, this game here is a crypto NFT game. In other words, you don't make real cash like Atlas Earth, but you do make cryptocurrency, which is the equivalent of real cash. I started that game. I played it for about nine months and going through the whole process of nine months, there was plenty of stuff to go around. I was making about $3 a day in cryptocurrency in the rental market by renting out my card assets, NFTs, in their game ecosystem. And I'm telling you, bots were all over the place. Bots were rampant. And they were, everybody was claiming the bots are destroying the game. The bots are taking all the money. The bots, the bots, the bots. I was nine months in making $3 a day. I was happy. And that's when um, the community started to force the hands and they started implementing tons of code 
to get rid of bots. So then over the next, let's say, year and a half, even though the crypto market was still okay, it wasn't destroyed, but the crypto market was okay, but they had banned all the bots. Effectively, I went from earning $3 a day and just renting out my card assets to less than 15 cents a day from those same card assets. They were banning all the bot players. This would make things better. The game got 100% worse for me uh, as far as profits go. So now let's flip this back over and talk about Atlas Earth. If there's a way to cheat, if there's spoofers, if there's all this kind of stuff like uh, this gentleman is saying, uh, I'm okay with it. Why do I say that? I say that because if I can make right now $11 in this game and there's exploits, there's bots, there's cheats, there's all this, I'm happy. I made 11 bucks. I focus on myself. I'm not going to worry about what other people do in this game. I'm here for myself and what little, um, what area I can carve out for myself in Atlas Earth. And if I can do that with all those other players cheating, it's, it's fine. I've seen what happens if you go out of your way, I'm talking out of your way to implement every block, check, uh, everything you can do to prevent scammers, cheaters, and all this kind of stuff. I'm not saying don't put in some effort, but if that's your sole purpose is to watch this game every day, looking for somebody who cheats and trying to get attention for their cheating. I want to know, the great shaman, what are you doing in the game? How are you doing in the game? How many plots of land do you have in the game? I want to know how your little chunk of Atlas Earth is working out for you because that's how I focus on Atlas Earth. I focus on myself, how I'm doing in the game. So I welcome any feedback and comment on this. I'm a little bit long on this video, guys, so I'm going to end it here. But thank you so much for uh, the feedback I've been getting, uh, especially on the Atlas Earth side of the fence. Please like, subscribe, and use my referral code. Please use my referral code if you're thinking about uh, starting up. Again, that referral code is 4-I-E-T-L-I. Use that referral code. Get yourself some free land plots and hang in there. Atlas Earth can be fun if you play it for how it is. Don't go looking for they got to change it all for it to be fun. I find it enjoyable. I hope you guys do as well. And I in no way see the great shaman and his his uh, his stance on the game. I'm not trying to really try to force him to uh, change his way 100%. I respect you. I just hope you can still look at the game from your side of the fence, see what you're earning, see what you're making, and enjoy the game with its problems for what it is. Hang in there. I think you'll like it. In the meantime, I'm InfoGuides, and I'm here to show you what little I know. Subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, comments, comments, comments. I need comments.